Welcome to Job Search Stories. Do you like the job search process like now? There are definitely certain parts of the job search that I really like. It depends on what's motivating the job search, I think. Like if I'm in a job search because I'm like really looking for a next role, but Mm -hmm. I also have the luxury of being in a job already, it's less stressful. I enjoy the self-reflection of a job search. I think that's a part that people forget about, which is actually taking the time to kind of just step back and think about what am I actually looking for? Mm -hmm, Like, mm -hmm. what is this next step for me? And what type of opportunities are going to get me there? Something that actually like, helps you identify the types of roles that you should actually be applying for and like really sussing out, okay, well, what do I actually like or dislike about what I'm doing now? Do you feel like there's like ways that people can like have a little bit more fun while looking for a job? I think so. One, I would say taking some self-assessments. Okay. So there's an exercise called seven stories where you actually pick seven different kind of key points in your life where you felt Like you did something, you accomplished something you were really proud of. Okay. And then kind of with each scenario, Mm -hmm. you dissect what were you doing? What like helped you feel? Like what did you feel most proud about? And then you actually look for trends and you see, okay, did I enjoy that I finished a project and worked really well with the team? Mm -hmm. You know, did I feel like this scenario, I got to be really creative. Yeah. I'm really looking for what were those things that will help you kind of shape what you might actually be enjoying in the next role. Not only is that like more fun, like like I said, it's just like you're like empowered. Like you feel like good about yourself before going in because I feel like if you're applying for jobs and you don't feel that great, you're probably not going to feel as confident to like go for that job that you may not think you're even qualified or anything like that. Like you kind of need to like feel a little good about yourself before you dive in. Overall, how do you feel like you can kind of optimize the job search to make it a little easier for someone who is just like, this is taking too long. So a lot of job opportunities actually get posted on Mondays because they usually Mm. have to be posted for one full business week. Um, So even if they're being posted and they're looking for somebody internally, they still have the hiring practice of they actually have to post it publicly. So like checking on Mondays. Checking on Mondays, checking first thing Mm -hmm. um, and making sure that if you see it, you know, you have your application materials ready so that you can apply so Mm -hmm. that you're one of the first people. So if you're using Indeed and you're searching on Mondays, or even on Tuesdays, you can look for jobs that have been posted within the last 24 hours. Okay. So looking for recency. Yeah. And that's a good question because I know a lot of people are worried when they're like, oh, this job's been posted for 30 days. How do I know that yeah. they're still hiring? And in those cases, they're usually for high volume, high turnover roles okay, or yeah. evergreen roles where they're just consistently hiring. Mm-hmm. So you can definitely still apply for those. Yeah. But if you're looking for jobs where you're thinking like, I want to get in a- ahead of anybody else. Yeah. Looking early during the week or at the beginning of the week for sure. Right. I mean, speaking of that, like if you're checking every Monday, like and you're like, okay, Monday, I'm going to apply for like five jobs. Do you have to customize kind of like your resume for each company and each job that you're applying for? There's a certain level of customization that you should do. Right. Now, if you're being really strategic about your job search, right, and you know, I'm applying for these certain types of roles. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily have to do a ton of rewriting. Yeah. Right. Because you've already hopefully created a professional summary that's targeted towards a particular role or industry. Right. Now, you might have to change out a few of the skills that you mentioned right away, especially Mm -hmm. if within the job description for a particular role, they specifically mention required or preferred skills that you have that maybe another one didn't. Mm -hmm. So you can make those types of tweaks for sure. But you wouldn't necessarily be rewriting a resume for every single role that you're applying for. Are there ways that you can really like find the right job for you on Indeed based off of like what you're looking for? Just like what are the indicators on Indeed that you feel like helps people in that regard? Sure. So Indeed actually has a few different features that I think are really helpful. Okay. One is filling out your job preferences on your profile. Because the nice thing about that is when you indicate what salary you're looking for, Mm -hmm. Um, of course, location, uh, job status. Are you looking for part-time, full-time? Are you looking for specific benefits? The more detailed you are Mm -hmm. within your profile, when you look for jobs Mm -hmm. in like the job SERP, it will actually flag when a job meets your qualifications. Right. When it meets all of the things that you've said that you want, which makes 
finding those roles a lot easier Mm because they're like right there surfaced for you. Okay. Um, Another feature that I think is just like really easy to use and turn on are just job alerts. Right. If you already know what job you're looking for, at least, you know, a role title, Mm -hmm. setting that job alert and adjusting whatever frequency you want it to have, if it's daily or weekly. Yeah. I just have those opportunities sent directly to your inbox. Mm -hmm. Like that's a great way to kind of take some of that search off of your shoulders. Thank you everyone for listening. And if you found any of this advice helpful, make sure to subscribe and rate the podcast and also leave us a review wherever you listen to podcasts. And we'll see you next time.